Hey guys, today I'm just going to show a short video on a little project I've been working on uh, trying to upgrade my uh, water cooling system. This was that uh, thermal take big water system. Um, one thing I've never liked about it is the combination pump reservoir. It, it's a convenient setup, but for one thing, I don't like that the uh, pump isn't threaded. It just slides in there. I'll uh, grab a fitting here and show you what I mean. So all it has is a fitting that slides into the rubber grommet. So uh, it, it seems to not leak, but it seems like an area that could definitely fail. Uh, another thing I don't like about it is the reservoir is so dark. Uh, if you have it in a dark case, like most of my cases are black inside, um, you can't see your fluid level. And another thing that I don't know why they did it, but uh, if you can see that spout that's inside there, that is where your uh, return line goes. So the return line, the fluid actually goes down into the reservoir, um, down past the regular working range. Um, so basically with that in there, you can't even tell if it's pumping fluid. Um, you see no circulation at all in the reservoir. You can't tell um, if the level is low, if it's pumping without having a uh, additional flow meter or something installed. So uh, just not a, a good setup as far as I'm concerned. So I've just been toying around with some different stuff. This is just kind of a makeshift one to see if the types of fittings and stuff that I'm using will work. I went to the uh, hardware store and got a uh, pipe threaded fitting to go into the pump to replace this one here. This is a, a standard pipe thread. And then for the uh, reservoir part of it, this was kind of ingenious. The guy at the uh, hardware store helped me come up with it. These are actually parts for a lamp. It's a uh, brass hollow rod that you would use for uh, putting like light fixtures into a, a lamp where you need to run the cord through it. And uh, basically we just used a flat washer and a lock nut on each side with a uh, rubber washer in between it, one on the inside and one on the out. So when you tighten it down, it makes a nice waterproof seal. Um, just to kind of bench in this right now, I just put a uh, power supply up here so I could hook it up and run it. This has actually been uh, sitting like this for about a week now, checking for leaks. So we'll turn it on and I can show you uh, the difference it makes. You see right away with the, the clear bottle, not only can I see my fluid level, but I can see the uh, fluid pumping through it so that I know we have a good flow going on. Uh, quite a difference from the dark black reservoir that you can't really see anything from. Um, I may be use a similar bottle like this, but a smaller one. Either that or I'm going to try to make something out of acrylic. Another thing I wanted to mention is uh, this system had ran in my computer for a while. I just pulled it out uh, a few months back. And uh, look at the condition of the uh, hoses. These were all brand new hoses and stuff when it went on. Here is a uh, comparison from a new hose. You can see how much... Uh, clearer and cleaner it is. All of this stuff that you're seeing in the hose is all the residue from the uh, cooling fluid itself. Whatever uh, phosphorus or whatever they use in it to uh, make it glow is uh, what accumulates on the hoses themselves and really makes a mess of it. So I'm going to have to replace all the hoses on it again. And I'm thinking of uh, going with some other different type of fluid or maybe even just an antifreeze um, without any uh, phosphorescent uh, mixture in it, something that won't leave residue on the hoses like that because it really does look bad. But anyway, that's a, a kind of a simple idea right now how to use your thermal take pump and make an external reservoir with it. I will uh, keep you updated as I move along on this as I make a more permanent reservoir and stuff, but this kind of gives me an idea of how I want to do it because I definitely want to see the fluid level and the flow. And uh, as soon as I come up with a container that I'm happy with, I'll get it uh, mounted in a computer and show you an update to it. So anyway, that's it for now. Thanks for watching.